All right, the challenge on time manage, why bother? Well, obviously, if we're more efficient, that leaves more time to do either more work or more play. The idea that here that I find most interesting is the idea of the zero inbox theory. If your inbox is at zero, you're much more available and ready to deal with the things flying at you every day. Um, I have about 50 mails in my inbox at the moment. Um, I don't like to have many more than that. I've never got down to zero, but anyway, uh, it's a metaphor for other areas of our life as well. Some people think this technique, picture, is old, but hey, I've never tried it before and I'm going to give it a try. For those of you who've never tried it before, it's 20 slides each of 20 seconds each, which means it will take me 6 and 40 seconds of talking at you uh, 20 time management tips. So, moderator, start the clock. Let's roll. Experiment with techniques. The Pomodoro technique has an egg timer that you use to divide your working day into 25 minute blocks. Mind mapping is another way. A spider scribe is a tool I've been playing around with a little bit at the moment. Give them a try. It works for you. Make lists. If it's not in your brain, it's out of there on the paper and it takes up less space. Uh, that's a little list that I like to make there. Uh, I use the same and for about six weeks. It doesn't take me a lot of time making the list in the first place. And don't forget, of course, to prioritise. My slides are a little slow. Sorry for the delay on these. Uh, start with small stuff. If it takes a couple of minutes to do, whether that's an email, a phone call, uh, marking a piece of student's work, whatever it is, do it now. Don't wait. And work out where you waste time. This is an example here. It's an app called Little Things that I wasted quite a lot of time on. Also checking into things like Facebook two minutes after you've just checked in before. Um, there's no reason to do so. Watching crap TV for the second time, don't do it. Work out where it is and avoid it. Be punctual. If you're late for things, it says your is more important than mine and it is the thing I hate more than anything else in the world. And take a book and a notepad with you. That way, if you have to wait, you won't feel like your time is wasted. Standards. Uh, I think often we're very self-critical and we, we expect too much. Often a competent lesson is all that's required. Not every class is going to be brilliant. Um, lower your standards a little and achieve more. Learn shortcuts. This is in other areas of life as well, but also on the computer. Scroll down, control C will save you a lot of time. All of these keystrokes that you're saving a few seconds on will add up to minutes that you can spend doing something that you really enjoy. Plan realistically. Lesson planning. If something takes 20 or 25 minutes, then plan it as taking 20 or 25 minutes, not 5 or 10. Successful planners know how long stuff really takes. In fact, add a little bit extra time onto it so that it gives you some leeway to go over. And learn to say no. A friend of mine uh, has a, had trouble saying no and she learned to say, I'm sorry, I can't do that for you today. Now, because people are in such a hurry, they couldn't wait for that and they'd go and ask somebody else. So if you can't say no, say no. I can't do it today. Watch and learn. We often talk about what we do, but perhaps not often enough about how we do it. Talk to each other about the differences in what we do and learn what is it that makes some people more successful at it perhaps than others. And combine activities. The exercise bike, God, how boring. But download a TED Talk onto your mobile device and to the brain and exercise, you know, it's all working together at the same time, but do not combine two tasks that have a high level of cognition because, quite simply, no task. Do something different. Take a break in the classroom. You know, sit on the floor. Go into the class and don't say anything. All the students think, what's going on? But as my dear old mum likes to say, a change is as good as a holiday. Give it a try. See what happens. And give yourself some thinking time. 
meditation, staring into space, playing a game, reading something different. All of these things can be the, the missing link in, in the, that idea, the elusive idea that you were, were unable to get when you were sort of sitting at your desk thinking, what, what do I need to complete this task? Know when you work best. Um, I often come in to see here, particularly on a Friday, uh, there's hardly anyone around right now, so I really get a lot done. Uh, I've been experimenting a lot more with working directly onto the computer rather than using a pen and paper too, and I've found this hugely time-saving, which has been a good thing. See the big picture. Um, why not, when you're sitting in class, and for your students to read something? They're all on task. They don't need you in your course book. Oh, this could be next week's lesson. I just need a lead-in for that, and perhaps a, a bit more controlled practice to buff at the end. It's going to minimise your planning time, trust me. Send video mails. I like talking at people rather than typing, because my typing is rubbish. iJot is one of my favourites, and it's really safe. I'm, and students often appreciate this personalised feedback that you can give them as well. Also teachers, you know, and your friends, no doubt. I'm sure they'd love to hear your voice. Do things with time to spare. Chip, chip away. That's me point of the calendar. I started making these slides on the 4th of April. That meant in May, I didn't even look at them. It was fantastic. So, a little bit here and there when you can. Uh, this was an interesting TED talk that I saw, and I really like the quote, time bows to all commitment, and it stretches to accommodate it. Um, this was a guy who wanted to sing 15 or 20 minutes a day. And because it was genuine, he was able to find a way to do this. If there's something you would do, the I don't have time excuse is just not going to cut it. And reward yourself for a job well done. I think um, I'm going to reflect on my idea. And if I think enough, I'll open my best bottle of wine tonight. If I don't think I've done a good enough job, I'll open another bottle of wine anyway. Because... Hey, I'm going to deserve it. Fine.